Hey, I heard something interesting from another mom friend. I heard that your family is a farmer. And I heard it's been going on for a few generations. That's right. My parents are the main farmers now, but I help them sometimes. I see. You know, sometimes I see you shopping dressed in farmer clothes. Oh, you saw me, huh? I try not to go out in my work clothes. You still live at your parents' home, right? Yeah. I live there with my husband and kids. What about it? Being a farmer's daughter, you must have struggled growing up. Well, we had some financial hardships in the past, but I think we're doing pretty well now. Our businesses are doing very well. When you say very well, you only make like $2,000 a month, right? In the past, I couldn't even make $1,000 a month just as a farmer. But now, I have other jobs besides farming, so I make a good amount of money. I wouldn't dare to tell you exactly how much money I make though. It's not that you won't tell me. It's that you can't tell me. I didn't think you were that poor. You think I'm poor just because I'm a farmer? All the farmers I knew seemed to be poor and had a hard time making a living. Maybe it's just that the farmers you knew just happen to be struggling. Some people have a prejudice that farmers are poor, but nowadays, with the introduction of various opportunities and the development of various technologies, there are more and more wealthy farmers. That's just a small percentage. You don't look rich to me. I don't know what your standard for rich is, but at least I don't think I'm poor. To me, all farmers are poor. I'm sorry, but can you just stay out of our business from now on? Okay, I don't feel good about being treated like a poor person either. I'm glad we are able to sell this quickly. Well, goodbye. Hello, Natalie. Huh, I thought you didn't want to be involved with me anymore. I'm sorry about the other day. I made a selfish assumption and treated you like a poor person. Huh. What happened? I'm sorry. I was out of line the other day. I thought I'd like to be friends with you, but is that okay? Of course I'd like to be friends with you. I don't want to get my kids involved in any trouble between moms. Good. I thought you and I would never be friends again. Anyways, I'd like to invite you to a lunch party. I can come? Of course. When is it? Next Friday. Are you free? I'm free for lunch. Great. I'm thinking of having lunch at a place called Accord in the next town over. It's a fancy French place. At Accord, huh? Is it a bit too pricey for you? No, it's not like that. Is there something else? Nope. I think that restaurant is fine. Great. It's a fancy French restaurant and I want you to dress appropriately for the occasion. What do you mean by dress appropriately? I mean, I don't want you to come in your work clothes like you usually do. Of course I won't go to a restaurant in work clothes. Right. I'll see you on Friday then. Okay, I'll be there. Why did you suddenly pour water on me? Did you lie when you said you were sorry? You were so easily fooled. I didn't think you'd actually come to the lunch. Everyone looked surprised. The other moms were surprised that you suddenly poured water on me. But no one stopped me. That means they were on my side, right? 
I think they just didn't want to get in trouble for going against you, so they kept their mouth shut. And now, I'm getting concerned texts from them. Do you really think I would fall for that? Are you in the bathroom right now crying? You're pathetic. I'm ashamed to have dinner with you, so just leave. Are you sure you want me to leave? Goodbye, you germ. Okay, since you made reservations at my restaurant, I thought I'd offer you a discount, but I guess that won't be necessary. Well, goodbye then. Huh. Wait a minute. Natalie, you run this restaurant? Yes, this is my restaurant. My relatives cook the food, but I run the business. That's a lie, right? It's true. The couple near you is my aunt and uncle. Aren't they glaring at you right now? You're right. They're giving me the biggest stares. So, it's true that you run the restaurant. If you search my name online, you'll see that I own this place. You're right. But your parents are farmers, right? I'm a farmer, but I'm also a restaurant owner. By the way, the vegetables we serve at the restaurant are grown on my family's farm. Thankfully, the vegetables are well received and many customers want to buy them. So I sell my vegetables to the general public, as well as to the restaurant owners. I didn't know that. I did some research online and it seems that your family's vegetables have a pretty good reputation. They've even been featured on TV. I'm thankful for those opportunities. I had no idea. You can come back after all. You can have dinner with us too. If you could give us a discount, that would be great. There's no way I can go back there soaking wet. I'm sorry, but I'm going home. Why don't you come back after you change? I'm not going back. If you want to eat, why don't you enjoy yourself on your own? What are you talking about? You should come back because we're going to have lunch with the other moms. The other mom friends say they don't want to be friends with you, Carrie, anymore. And they're not going to have lunch with you today either. They said that they left the restaurant already too. Huh? You're right. They're gone. I was so engrossed in our text, I didn't notice I was alone. Hey, call them back immediately. Volition, I can't do anything about it. Don't be silly. I'm the boss mom. You know what happens if you disobey boss mom's orders, don't you? You say you're the boss mom, but that's just what you think of yourself. Isn't it? No one thinks you're the boss. Huh? You made the reservation, so if you cancel it, you better pay the cancellation fee too. It looks like the food is already cooked. Well, if everyone left, does that mean I have to pay for everyone? That's right. The $50 per person course is for 5 people, so that's $250. I only brought enough money for one person. You can pay by card, so why don't you do that? I can't use my credit card because I've maxed it out. And I can't eat dinner with your uncle and aunt staring at me. Then why don't you just pay the cancellation fee and leave? Cancellation fee is a full amount, right? Of course. I'm sorry for throwing water on you. But can't you at least come back? I can't. I already left. Then come back after you change your clothes. I have plans with the other moms after this. What? Plans? Today's lunch was cancelled, so we're going to have lunch at a cafe. It'll be a lot more fun to hang out with them over you, so I've decided to go with them. Wait a minute. Let me join you. 
Don't you remember that I don't want to be friends with you anymore? Did you listen to me? Please. I apologize for treating you like a poor person. I will never do anything like this again, and... Even if I forgive you, it seems the other moms won't forgive you. What? It seems everyone was fed up with your arrogant attitude. They wanted to get rid of you. But since our children go to the same school, they didn't want their children to be affected. What did I do to them? You made them pay for your meals because you were the boss mom. And when you didn't like something, you used your kids to ostracize the other children. And on one occasion, your children even tried to hurt them. They had an attitude. So, as the boss mom, I had to. I don't even know why you think you're the boss mom in the first place. All the other mom friends think that too. Of course I'm the boss mom. I'm the one who always made the plans for lunch meetings. And I'm the one who took the initiative in making decisions at school too. Who else is the boss besides me? We just let you do what you wanted to do. That's not true. I was doing it for the good of everyone. I was the only one who seemed to be able to organize the group. You were just taking advantage of the other moms. The other moms are sick and tired of being pushed around all the time. They've all been complaining about you. What? Was... I... that terrible? Did you mean people thought I was annoying? From now on, in order to build good relationships with others, you should be a little more considerate of them. Also, I think you should stop looking down on others based on your own assumptions. Well then... Wait a minute, how do I pay this bill? Natalie, I am so sorry about earlier. I am really sorry. It's okay. My clothes just got wet. Not dirty. I'm glad to hear that. My aunt and uncle told me that you pay them. They almost call the police. Yeah. I thought they'd be a little more understanding, because you and I are friends. But they were both really mad at me and said they'd call the police if I couldn't pay. My aunt and uncle love me so much, and they love me as a business owner. They couldn't forgive you for making fun of their adorable niece. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were such a great business owner. Even if I was just a farmer, that's no reason to disrespect me. Of course, I understand. I'll do better from now on. I'm glad to hear that. Did you go out of your way to text me to apologize? No, I wanted to ask you something. You wanted to ask me something? My husband seemed to know your family. Do you have any business connections? Not a business partner or anything. But your husband often uses a restaurant for business. Why didn't you ask your husband about this? I was curious, so I thought about asking him. But he didn't talk to me at all after the lunch. He had this aura of not wanting to talk to me. So, I didn't talk to him. I see. Well, your husband uses a restaurant at least once a month. He seems to like the food very much. I had no idea. So, you and my husband knew each other? Well, I've seen him a few times because I help out at the restaurant sometimes. It's such a small world. 
So, are we done here? Well, yes, but... Is there something you want to tell me? Um... You're not going to be friends with me anymore from now on, right? I don't know if I'd be able to have dinner with you, or go out with you. I mean, we live close to each other, and I'm willing to continue to be an acquaintance, but... I feel bad about splashing water on you. And I apologize. So, can we be friends again like before? After what happened today, I've lost touch with my friends, and I'd like to clear up any misunderstandings. I don't think there's any misunderstanding. It's a fact that you maliciously poured water on me. And it's also a fact that you've been doing whatever you want and making other mom friends feel uncomfortable. Right? You brought this on yourself, so you have to accept the reality. But I'm going to continue to live in this town. My family will be worried if I'm alone at school events. Your husband said there's no need for us to get involved with you. So we decided to take his word for it and keep our distance from you. Huh? My husband said that? Wait a minute. You mean that's why you were in contact with my husband? Yes. Your husband contacted me a little while ago to apologize. At that time, I told him about what you had done to me. He didn't think you were being that abusive to your friends and was very surprised. He also said he wasn't sure if you guys would be able to work together. Wait, does that mean he's planning to get a divorce? You have a child together, so I don't think a divorce is going to happen anytime soon. Really? He also said he was going to have a watchdog for you. So I don't think he's planning on divorcing you right away. Wait a minute. Don't tell me the watchdog is my mother-in-law. I don't know anything about that. All I heard was that he was getting a watchdog. I was scolded by my mother-in-law about money a while ago, and she threatened me to move in with us if I ever did anything wrong. I'm sure this watchdog is my mother-in-law. I see. If your mother-in-law is going to move in with you, we'll feel safer. Why would you feel safe? I'm in hell. If your mother-in-law lives with you, it means that everything won't be like before, right? It means we'll be able to live in peace. I've been avoiding living together at all costs. Please, can you convince my husband? What am I going to convince him of? Tell him not to let my mother-in-law move in with us. It's a family matter. You should tell him that directly. You're not with your husband? He left the house earlier, saying he had to call someone. Maybe he's calling my mother-in-law. I've been trying to call my husband. But his number has been busy. That's a strong possibility. But if your mother-in-law is going to live with you, then that's good news. No, it's not. I'm going to be suffering. You wouldn't understand, but my mother-in-law used to be a teacher and is super strict. Well, that's even more comforting. Maybe she'll teach you manners from the ground up. You do lack a lot of common sense. That's not very nice of you. You could have said it in a nicer way. I can't get through to you in a roundabout way, can I? So I had to be direct. Oh no. My husband just texted me and said my mother-in-law is coming over. She said she's going to have an important talk about the future. Is this about living together? I don't know the details, but I think the three of you should have a long talk. I don't want to. I know. Can you sit in on the conversation? 
No, no, no. It's not right for me to be there. I'm an outsider. I'm sure my mother-in-law and husband would appreciate a third opinion. Let me tell you first. I'm all for you guys moving in together. I'm sure my presence will only increase the likelihood of your mother-in-law moving in with you. You've got to side with me here. I don't want to. It's a family matter, so don't bring other people into it. Well then, from now on, I'm not going to socialize with you like I have in the past. So I won't return your calls unless I think it's important. Wait a minute. I can't do this alone. Shortly thereafter, Carrie's husband and mother-in-law arrived. After talking it over, it seems that her mother-in-law has decided to move into the house. After moving in together, Carrie became quiet as if she was a different person. Her mother-in-law seems to be a strict person, but she treats us moms very kindly and is a very nice person. Now that her mother-in-law is by my side, I don't have to worry about unnecessary stress. I will continue to work hard in the restaurant business and as a farmer in the future.